So opening my Clark CDP452F uh, 16 speed drill press. Ordered this at the end of August and it turned up I think about 4th of December due to Brexit, Covid, ships stuck in a canal or something like that. Um, I'm going to start opening it, put all the pieces out first and then take it into my workshop bit at a time. Chuck, pedestal, main base, Justin handle, looks like the guard, that's a nice table, I went for the square table, there's a round table one that was slightly cheaper but in the end I found this £100 cheaper uh, online rather than from the very large company has lots of outlets selling all different kinds of machines. Let's get it out a bit at a time. The all important instruction book that, like most blokes, I'll ignore until I need it. out one handed Paper chuck. Hmm. Oh. Well, so far, it also seems to be well built. Sure, until I put it all together. Right. Main head. So what I'm gonna do rather than bore you by fitting every little bit all in one go, I'll start fitting it and uh, film it as I go on. So everything's out of the box, everything seems to there. I even had a look in the instruction book uh, just to make sure I had no bits missing. Uh, that's the main head of it. Now, before I bought it, I did read that it said you would need help lifting this on. And uh, I thought, nah, I'll be able to do that. But I've just tried lifting it and I'm going to need help. So that'll come at the end of the day. Get someone to help me with that. So I'll now take it to my workshop, bit by bit. Build it up. The only thing you don't get with it is a means of bolting it to the floor. Now, uh, my workshop is a wooden building. I've strengthened the floor with some marine ply. So I need to see if I've got any bolts big enough to bolt this down. But uh, I'll come to that when it's all together. Okay. Okay, so. Eventually that's where it's going to go. I've got a few other bits to clear up and get out of the way. There's my old bench drill that's 
been going for years. Um, a few more bits. Uh, thumbs well packaged. Oh, the uh, tube is covered in oil just to keep it protected. There's a couple of grub screws just around the back down there that hold the tube into that base pole. Four bolts, um, 17 mil I think, uh, with spring washers on it. And so on to the next bit, which is going to be this screw thread arrangement for raising and lowering the table. All right, on to the next piece. So the next piece in the instructions is attached a little handle. There's a little flat on the shaft coming out of here, and that's where the little Allen screw goes into. This little Allen key comes with everything. Um, but inside, someone's had a sort of a bit of a I don't know if you can see that very well, but a half-assed attempt at putting some grease on there. So um, I might put a little bit more on it and spread it a bit round a bit more even, uh, just in case. Don't want to go too mad with it. Only bits of swall sticking in there or whatever else I sort of drill off. Okay, next one. Okay, so one of the things I did read on some reviews was this. Uh, this is for. A, what angle you've got the table at and it is poor I mean it's just a sticker that's not been stuck on straight even the pointer is uh, well <laughs> I'm not sure if he'd had a late night I'd ever put it on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pointer bit off and actually uh, use a little spirit level make sure it is dead level and then uh, put a little centre punch mark and uh, fill it in with some white paint I think that will be the Best bet because that sticker's not going to last five minutes. So that's the next piece. Oh, I had to also put a bit of grease on there uh, till that go around. Okay. Well, so this is it on. This is with the let's see if obviously to line this and it goes up and down. But it, at the bottom, it's held in. It's got into a little slot on the base pole. And then the top piece is a, a ring collar with one small grub screw in it. Clearly, they do not have a tighten. Um, it's not, but as you wind up, you can see the hole. I'm not sure whether it be. I suppose that's to allow it to move around, though. Hmm, yeah. Okay, well, it's coming together. I'm just waiting for. Assistance putting the head onto it. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, with some help from my son, it's uh, lifted on, it's all together. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, it fits nice in the space. I've screwed it down to now, but I'm going to try and find some more substantial coach bolts. The head just slides on the pole and it's just got two uh, grub screws that tighten it up. Um, the red screw you can see is part of the uh, tensioning for the belts. Um, it's got a little switch on it as well so you can't have it running, put your fingers in there. There's all the uh, different speeds on there, and uh, in the instruction book there's a handy little guide to uh, what size drill bits you're using and what material you're drilling. So there we have it. Yeah, it was worth the wait. Um, as I said at the beginning, I, I got this nearly £100 cheaper. Um, there is a, another model that's Practically the same as his own. It's got a round table instead of the square one. Uh, that is uh, a little bit cheaper. But all in all, I'm really pleased. There you go. Thanks for watching.